just ask them this, but the, the impact of the crowd, you were kind of there at the height of it, and what was it like kind of in that, in that moment, in that eighth inning for you? Um, it was a crazy game, for sure. Um, you know, we got some momentum early on, and, you know, we were kind of riding pretty well, and then they kind of tacked on a couple runs. And, um, you know, for me, I think, you know, walking uh, Wong, you know, on four pitches wasn't what I drew, how I drew it up. Um, but to face, you know, Betts and Freeman in that spot, 4-2, um, critical moment in the game. Um, I just tried to simplify it and not make it bigger than it is. And, um, yeah, just, just a special moment. And I, I got so much respect for that team. Uh, they've had they've had my number for for years, and um, to come up in a spot like that in the postseason, um, I don't know. You can't script it any better. Feels like the whole bullpen is kind of clicking at the right time. Everyone kind of in their roles. What is what has happened to allow that to happen? Um, you know, it's just the momentum, and I think the 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 brotherhood. I don't know what you want to call it. Just the love for each other. Um, I think has put us in this spot now. And, um, you know, you just feel it. Uh, you know, guys in the bullpen are in it every single pitch, you know, including myself. And, um, you know, when swings happen and, you know, momentum shifts, like we're, we're all in. And um, I think there is a, there's just a level of excitement and um, newness to it. And so, we're gonna we're gonna ride this, and you know we look forward to whoever we play next, and it's gonna be a, a great opportunity. Joined by Brandon Fott as well. So, let's go to the back, Evan. Uh, Kevin, you've been here since 2019. Um, there were what three or four guys who are on the team now who were here when you got called up. So you've seen this team go from narrowly missing the playoffs through the trough, and then back up to where you are now. Can you describe the, how how all that went, the whole journey? Yeah, um, I was part of that journey for sure. Uh, personally, I think with my career, going through those those hard times, uh, you know, like any athlete does, you you have doubts with with things, and um, I just kind of had to work on some stuff and and gain some confidence again. And um, you know, it started last year, and you know, I think propelled me into this year and and into this spot and. Um, you know, nothing's ever been handed to me. I've kind of had to just go out and earn it like anybody else. But, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm excited. And I think, you know, this team's got um, a bright future ahead of it who, for however long it is. So, um, you know, it's, there's, there's just a buzz, I think, with this team. Um, Kevin, in the past, like if you'd have lost a batter like Wong, maybe things would have continued to go downhill for you. Mm -hmm. But this year, time and again, we've seen you have that kind of uh, you know, situation, and then you immediately lock it in and, and shut it down. Do you attribute that as much to the, maybe the mechanical changes that you made to help you to kind of find your release point again? Or is it more mental or combination of both? Um, yeah, I mean, I've kind of come full circle now. Um, you know, my mechanics and how I've gotten to this spot now is, is interesting. Um, but, you know, I'm just, you know, I'm just proud, I guess. I, you know, it, it's just hard work and grit that has gotten me to this spot. And, you know, I don't take anything for granted. Um, you know, I think I'm just, I'm more of a mature player than I was a couple of years ago. And, you know, um, I know I got the stuff. I, I think it was, it was a lot of mental things that I was battling. And um, you know I'm here now, and you know I'm just I'm excited. Hopefully, the, hopefully this team keeps keeps going, and we keep rolling. Sorry, one one quick follow up. Um, now in the postseason, do the home strikeouts also uh, count with uh, Alice's uh, charity there? Well, uh, I'll, I'll talk to his team, but I think I think that that should be uh, that should be something that I can that we can figure out. Yeah. <laughs> that, that winning this game would have meant. How did you manage to kind of channel the adrenaline and pitch the way you pitched tonight? I think everybody everybody knew it was going to be a sellout, and I, everybody knew that Chase was going to be rocking. Uh, it felt, I said earlier, it felt like a different stadium out there. Um, it was incredible to be able to pitch tonight and in front of that atmosphere, and, and hopefully there's many more times to come. How did you manage to be as efficient as you were? Uh, just, I think after the four home runs, it was that's kind of what a pitcher goes out there and tries to do, especially 
the inning after, try to be as efficient as possible, get the bats back in the dugout. Um, so it's easier to do it then. It's more, it's more focused at that point when you score a lot of runs in one inning. And I think that's kind of my mentality tonight. When, when Tori comes out to get you, I imagine you kind of understand the reasoning. But what's, what's going through your head there? And how much more do you, did you have left in the tank given you hadn't thrown all that many pitches? Yeah, I had a, I had a lot in the tank still. Um, but I kind of knew going in that it was going to be a little shorter leash than Zach and Merrill. Uh, I think a lot of people knew that. Um, I was just there to give them whatever the team needed. My goal was to be winning the game when I came out. That was my only goal, no matter how long that was. And I, you got to trust your manager. And obviously, we trust our bullpen right now. They're, they've been lights out. So uh, it wasn't a problem at all. Over here on the right. Brent, uh, talk a little about your journey. I mean, you started the season at Reno, and, and Tori and, and Brent said you down with some things to do. Tell us what you accomplished and the journey coming back to reach the level that you have in probably in the last month and a half. Yeah, it's been a, it's been a wild year. Um, I think going down, working on certain things, and coming back up a better pitcher was, was the main goal. Um, the first time I got sent down, they were like, you're going to pitch in, in important games later on in the season for us. So to be able to be in this spot, like they said, is, is pretty cool. Anything else? Uh, Jack and then AJ. Um, seemed like early on you uh, were using your changeup to keep them off balance a little bit more and then kind of mix it up even a little further after that. Um, that seemed like a little bit of a different uh, approach for you. I don't remember you throwing that many changeups early in the game before. No, um, I think lately we've been more fastball slider, uh, especially, and that's kind of not bond. And uh, I think the changeup helps free that up and and open up those other pitches to help get early outs. AJ, what's it like pitching to Gabby, and kind of what what does he mean to this pitching staff? He's incredible. He's incredible on on both sides of the plate and or both sides of the ball, um, offensively as he showed tonight. And just having him back there, you wouldn't think he was a rookie. You would think you'd think he's been around for a while. And um, the way he connects with the pitchers is, is incredible.